Hi, I'm Deborah Chatterjee and I'm from Greater London Tutors and I teach foreign languages and English as a second language. And today I'm going to give you some tips on how to teach. I teach foreign languages and English as a second language and having been a language student myself, um, I, I'm very aware of how important listening is. Um, you often find that students have very good written skills, very good speaking skills, but when they actually go to the country, when they have to communicate with people on a daily basis, uh, that's when they realise that their listening skills aren't up to scratch. Uh, so for example, watching the news or listening to the radio or listening to people have a conversation on a bus, that's when you think, oh, maybe I don't know that language as well as I thought I knew. Um, now, I find that a lot of uh, traditional listening materials are put together specifically um, for students and so because of that uh, they're not very natural, they're not how people would normally speak in, in real life. Uh, they, they tend to be quite slower, um, uh, they tend to be actors who are reading out a conversation. So I find that um, in, in teaching students good listening skills it's always really good to use authentic materials. Um, YouTube is excellent for this, uh, the radio, I, um, uh, I play extracts from radio programmes online or even recording your friends having a, a daily chat. That's really good for picking out the vocabulary that we use every day that students might not necessarily learn in a class. So before you get them to do the listening, it's always very good uh, to just give them a background to the listening. So for example, you're going to be listening to two people um, who are in a cafe having a coffee. They haven't seen each other for a long time. So that way the student can visualise where the two people are. It might also be good to give them a clue as to whether they're happy, annoyed, frustrated. Obviously this depends on, on, on the level. I'd, I'd probably do that with beginners. And maybe teach them a few of the words that come up, words that you know they won't know. So very difficult words. And I find that with this background, um, the uh, students have an idea of what they're listening to. Um, and then it's also good to repeat the listening, maybe give them some questions so uh, they can listen out for specific answers. But my top tip would to really use authentic materials um, and to also make it interesting, you know, interesting subjects that are relevant to the students' lives and obviously play it more than once as well. And so these are my tips on to how to teach listening.